I suspect that this turn we will finally see these players get into a little dog fighting. And there's an echo because I had the volume on on my laptop where I'm watching the stream so I can talk to people as they come and visit me. Little limping, one forward out of Nora Wexley there, and a focus token from Tyson. A three bank from Mike. We're going to see Nora Wexley probably turning left here. Yeah, because a three bank to the right sounds like a bad play. Mike's Nora in on that three bank, takes a focus token. A little one hard turn from Ray, still skirting the edges of those debris fields. And a focus token on that Millennium Falcon. Mike moving four straight here. This is going to put him right next to that asteroid. He won't hit it, though. Nope, he won't hit it, folks. We're going to finally see a little combat take place. Waiting on an action here from Ray on Mike's side. Mike's Ray is the one in the middle of that screen, slightly left of center. Mike's Nora Wexley is near the top of your screen. Obviously, the Ray and Nora Wexley on the bottom and on the left-hand side are Tyson Sparks. Your former Back to Dials host, his new job has meant that he's had to step away. We're thrilled to have him here with us today. They check range. It is not range one. Dice from Tyson. Ray re-rolling these dice. Players aren't quite getting those all the way in. There we go. So we've got three hits from Tyson here. One die here. We'll get that die roll and move it into the box. We've got a focus. Ray has a focus token. We spin that to a focus. Spending that token, Ray will lose the first two shields on that Millennium Falcon. Joe with that live update. Ray's got six hull and two shields left there. Oh, we just moved a piece of debris. Ray with a range three attack at Nora Wexley. Three red dice here from Ray. We're going to add a blank. Roll some more dice here. Two, three, four hits. C-3PO on zero here. We get one evade rolled and a focus. We're going to spend that focus token on Nora to pick up a second evade. We're going to take two shields off of Nora Wexley there. Going to six and one now. Six hull and one shield left there. Range 3 attack, Nora Wexley from Tyson at Ray for Mike. Two hits move into the dice cam. Two evades, natural evades there from Ray on Mike's side. That round of combat sees Tyson lose a pair of shields. It sees uh, Mike lose a pair of shields on Ray. Players are, as we like to say around here, back to dials.
quick Nora Wexley dial there from Tyson. We have a little cluster forming in the middle of this table. We have a Nora Wexley dial from Mike on the table now. Both players still holding their ray dials. Trying to figure out the right place to send those Millennium Falcons. Mike returns to texting his daughter. Nora Wexley, short little one forward. After Tyson moves, he'll uh, reveal that one forward. R2-D2 on Nora Wexley means shield comes back. Nora Wexley pushing the limit here, getting a target lock and a focus token. And, of course, that stress from push the limit. So a collection of tokens hits the table for Tyson Sparks there. Mike's Nora Wexley moving three forward there. Going to be a difficult maneuver next turn for Mike as that Nora may end up hitting that debris field there. Checking range on a target lock. Does not have range. Is the sound better now? Ask of the chat channel here. We're going to have a long maneuver here from Mike. It appears that that is going to bump Nora Wexley, though. Lifting that Millennium Falcon off its giant-sized base. Working down the guides. We do have a bump there, so Ray won't get an action here. Tyson starting the shooting off here with his ray. Range to attack at Mike's ray, which is that base in the middle of the table or on the lower left-hand side of the table with nothing on it. So two hits move into the box. Going to add a blank and re-roll here with ray. And then we're going to expertise. So we've got three hits and a blank on the dice. Range to attack, one dice. Nothing going on there. We've got a focus, but that Ray hit Nora and doesn't have a focus token this turn. We're going to lose the shields on Ray here and take our first hull damage, it appears. Down to five hull on that Ray. Mike's Ray firing. One hit and one evade. No damage on that raid array combat. Eh, it's ray combat. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. Tyson, Nora Wexley here.
No shots from either Nora Wexley. The players pick up their dials. And I go back to planning. Mike asking Tyson for a rules clarification there. If he passes through that debris cloud, he will get a stress token, of course, and will have to roll an attack die. On a crit, he takes a crit. And on anything else, nothing will happen to him. That stress token could affect Nora Wexley's turn here, though. But looking at the board from our far, far overhead camera, hope the people like that camera angle today. Looking at the board from that camera angle, I don't see how he avoids this. It's a little hard to tell sometimes. The uh, the one turn is a difficult turn to judge from this far above a table, but I don't think he's going to be able to avoid this debris cloud. Both players have all of their dials down now. We are marking Ray from... Mike's side, so that we can move this Nora Wexley on Tyson's side. Nora with a left bank there. We put back that Millennium Falcon of Mike's. Green Maneuver clears the stress and puts a shield back on Nora Wexley. Tyson with just a focus token does not push the limit on this attack on this move. That hard left turn does take Mike through a debris field. He gets a stress, but that measurement was to see if he could remove the stress. There is no crit on that die, so no damage to Nora Wexley. Mike measured for range, but has decided not to remove the stress. Mike trying to decide if he's going to put that stress on or take the option to remove it. He's going to remove the stress in order to get an action and take a target lock on Tyson's Millennium Falcon there. Ray on the move now. Short little bank to the left-hand side between those two debris fields. And a focus token from Tyson. A sloop from Ray here. Oh, look at that. We still have the old title here. I'm sure that Joe will get to that, because this is not the Colorado campaign against cancer. This is X-Wing Store Championships at Total Escape Games. Tyson with that attack and expertise there. At Nora Wexley. The C-3PO guess from Mike here is zero. So he'll get one evade from C-3PO and take two damage. Nora Wexley is going to go to six hull and one shield left. That Nora is a durable, durable ship today, though, with R2-D2 on both sides of it.
they are checking our care. It appears that Tyson's Nora Wexley is just outside of the arc of Mike's Ray here. Stressed on Ray, so no expertise available. Blank, blank, focus, no focus token. That means we have nothing doing there. Rear arc on Nora Wexley here. Players are checking the arc here. In arc, it is a range three attack coming from Tyson's Nora to Mike's Ray. Only two red dice here. It does have a target lock. Spending a lot of the target lock, adding a hit. One becomes a crit on the title. Focus on the other ones. We're going to have hit, hit, crit pushed into the dice cam. Ray has no shields. Two dice on the range three defense here. Does get one evade. Ray's going hit crit here. Major explosion. We're going to roll an attack die. It does not explode. Mike avoids the major explosion there. He is down to three hull on that ray, though. Nora Wexley with a three dice attack at Ray. Mike's Nora to Tyson's Ray. On the reroll there, spending that target lock. He gets a second hit. So three hits after expertise. Tyson does roll and evade on Ray's one lonely green die. And takes two shields off of Ray. We've got Tyson's Ray down to six hull and two shields. Tyson's Nora is untouched. On Mike's side, Ray down in that corner, lower left-hand corner, without a ship on her still. Just a Ray base down there. Down to only three hull right now. Hey, they're going to give us back a ship to look at. That ray in the lower left-hand corner belongs to Mike Strathern, and it is down to three hull. Nora Wexley. Mike's Nora is center of your screen, just to the left of that tiny little asteroid in the middle. It's got six hull and a shield on it. Of course, with our 2D2 on it, you can expect that Mike will be looking to regain a shield. 2D2 on it, you can expect that Mike will be looking to regain a shield. Mike's Nora dial is down. You can expect that Mike will be looking to regain a shield. Both players still holding that Millennium Falcon dial that belongs to Ray. Mike's Nora dial is down. You can expect that Mike will be looking to regain a shield. Both players still holding that Millennium Falcon dial. The Mike's Nora dial is down. You can expect that Mike will be looking to regain a shield. Lower left-hand corner on Ray. Mike still spinning that dial. You can see in the lower right-hand corner of your screen a couple of damaged cards on Ray. Last turn, she avoided the major explosion. It did not blow up on her. But those two damaged cards have her down to only three hull. you got to think that Tyson's looking to kill her off this turn. Tyson changing up a dial before the players start here. Still holding Ray. Still holding Ray. Ray dial is down. Nora Wexley starts us off with a 
Short little bank to the right. A focus token. Push the limit from Ray and a target lock, or push the limit from Nora, excuse me, and a target lock back on Ray. Mike's Ray with a bank to the right, right onto the tailpipe of Tyson's. Mike's Nora, God, I'm getting confused all of a sudden. Mike's Nora with that right bank ends up right on the tailpipes of that Millennium Falcon, who has not yet moved, of course. And a target lock from Nora to Ray. Tyson with a hard turn to the right. Right onto that debris field. The and a focus token there. <laughs> and as expected, Tyson took the risk on that crit there, moving into the debris field on the hopes that he would block Mike's ray. And we get a blocking maneuver. So we take ray off of her base yet again. That ray has spent a lot of time. Tyson's ray will shoot Nora Wexley, range two. He rolls three hits there. Mike guessing one for C-3PO here. Oh, guessing zero for C-3PO. Thank you, Chunky. I agree. I missed my true calling. Instead, I am the managing. I am the manager here at Total Escape Games. We do get one evade there. Nora Wexley loses the last of her shields. Six hull and no shields left on that Nora. We're going to expertise into three hits here. Three C-3PO's guess is zero here. He gets one. He takes two damage, so two shields come off of Nora Wexley there. Or off of Ray, excuse me. Tyson's Nora at Mike's Ray. There's a whole bunch of dice modifications taking place, and we've got three red dice in the box. Hit, hit, crit. And he'll want to avoid hitting any obstacles after that crit comes up. Ray is down to one single point of hull. Mike's Nora attacking Tyson's Ray. Lots of dice modification and four damage. Tyson does grab a single evade on that die roll and takes three damage on his Ray. Both sides, Ray is a little on the torn up side here. We've got the players back to dials here. And on your right hand side, Mike Strathern. His ray is the one in the lower left-hand corner without the Millennium Falcon on the base. It has one single point of hull left on it and a crit that says if it lands on an obstacle, it's done. Mike's Nora Wexley is middle of your screen.
I think we were, were investigating with the players. I think we started with the incorrect amount of stuff on those Millennium Falcons. Ah, there we go. See, we started at the wrong starts stats. So, Tyson's Ray is out of shields and has six hull left. Tyson's Nora Wexley has six hull and three shields. Mike's Ray actually has three hull. We accidentally started that Millennium Falcon with only six instead of eight. Whoops. And Nora Wexley for Mike has six hull and no shields. We're going to ask the players, reminding them to pull the dice off of the green screen. Because those dice are hanging out right in the middle of your screen right now. Mike's Nora Wexley is the one in the middle of your screen with that red dial next to it. Mike is set there. Tyson's Nora Wexley is the left-hand side center of your screen. His dial is down. Tyson's Ray is the one facing to the left that has a Millennium Falcon on the base. That Ray, as we just discussed, has six hull left. They are checking the size of the debris field that Tyson landed on. Tyson, appearing a little afraid of that camera, likes to pace up and down his side of the table. If you've never had the pleasure of playing with Tyson, it's actually a lot of fun. One short little move from Nora Wexley puts a shield back on Nora, who's actually at six hull and two shields now. A two hard from Mike's Nora Wexley. That is going to put him just barely off that debris field there. Takes that target lock on Tyson's Ray. Mark in the corner of Mike's Ray so that Tyson can move his. This looks like a left side sloop from Ray. Tyson making sure that that's an illegal maneuver. Mike's ship does fit back in there. Great little square piece there to help you mark that ship. Mike's Ray on the move here. Three bank to the left here. Or three sloop to the left, excuse me. Those rays facing one another in the lower third of your screen now. Tyson's Nora Wexley is a far, far away. Tyson measuring range there. Both of those shots are range three and unobstructed, so some ray on ray violence here. Adds that fourth dice. Uses expertise. I believe we're going to put four hits in the dice cam. We have four hits in the dice cam. Ray rolling for her life here. Add a die here. Roll that die. So, two eyeballs here. Going to spend the focus on Mike's ray. Means two more face down damage cards. That ray is down to one hull now. Three die attack from Mike's ray to Tyson's ray. Ray these two on the reroll. Hit, hit, hit. Three hits on the dice cam. Finning in the blank here and re-rolling. Focus, focus. One damage. So Ray goes to five hull.
No shot from Tyson's Nora. Mike's Nora has a range three attack here on Tyson's Ray. Spending that target lock. Hit, hit, crit. Add a blank and roll it. Two evades. We get a stunned pilot on that crit card. Players scooping up them dials. Mike acknowledging that his ray probably isn't long for this world. One hull left. The two players discussing some movement options there. Tyson playing the game. Where is Mike going to move that Ray to? Ray doesn't have a ton of options there. Both the players easily plan the turn for Nora Wexley, but Nora, Tyson's Nora, is not in combat right now. Mike's Nora is okay here. The big decision both these players have to make is where does Ray go? Mike saying that maybe slooping off the board is his best maneuver here. Players just talking about where they can sloop to right now. All the sloops. Such a fantastic maneuver. Both players still holding those raid aisles. Tyson wandering around the table, trying to figure out some line of sight things here. Two players have 38 minutes left in this round. Both of those players have stunned a pilot on them right now. So a little conversation there about what happens if uh, we run into one another. Of course, Tyson moves his ray first, so if Mike hits Tyson's ray, Mike would suffer the effects of that stunned pilot, if my recollection of the rules is correct. Mike's dial is down on his ray. Crucial turn here for his ray. And Tyson finally gets that dial down. Nora Wexley with the K turn pushes her all the way to the upper left hand corner of your screen and she is way out of this combat. Toss a stress token on her and move on with life because she won't be involved this turn. Oh, I might have been wrong. 
Mike Snorowexley with the right bank. They might just barely slide into range three there. That R2-D2 puts Nora Wexley back to one shield on Mike's side. Goes ahead and takes a target lock on Tyson's Ray, who follows that up with a short one forward maneuver and a focus token. A 4K from Mike Strathern here for his Ray. She'll fit on the table still. A stress token on that K turn means that Ray won't get any actions. But range one combat between the Rays. Three hits go into the box. One die. Does not matter. So this is going to kill Mike's Ray. They are equal pilot skill, of course. So we'll have the simultaneous return fire before Ray leaves this table. There's three more damage on Ray. That, of course, is the end of Ray. Four dice. One of those dice cocked on a debris field. They'll re-roll it there. No expertise with the stress token. Two hits. Tyson's greens are absolutely scorching hot right now. Ray gets that evade there. Takes one more hit down to three hull. And there goes Mike's Ray off the table. Three dice from Nora Wexley on Mike's side. Uh-oh. There's the added die. Two hits and two crits on this Nora Wexley attack here. Hit, crit, crit. Shaken Pilot Weapons Failure. We're at six damage now. Ray's got two hull left. Ray will get to stick around. The players will pull those dice out of the cam again. So this round of combat sees Mike's Ray bite the bullet there. Tyson's Ray gets hit pretty hard in the return fire and is down to two hull. Nora Wexley on both sides of the table. Six hull and a shield on Mike's side. Six hull and two shields on the other side. R2-D2 and Nora Wexley's. We could be here for a little while. Tyson's going to have a red dice advantage here this round as his Ray's still on the table. She's going to get to lay into Nora Wexley, assuming that they maneuver correctly here. Mike Strathern's Nora Wexley dial is down. He is planned for this turn with that one lonely ship he has left. Two forward from Tyson's Nora Wexley. It's a green maneuver that clears the stress. That puts a third shield back on Tyson's Nora Wexley. Target lock, push the limit, focus token. Nora, target locking on Nora there. A one bank to the left. Target lock on Tyson's Ray.
There's a hard stop from Ray. Here's an action trying to clear the weapons failure. Does not clear the weapons failure. That stop means that Nora will probably not have a shot at Ray. Yep. Only two dice on Ray. We've got two hits on Ray going at Nora. C3PO with the zero guess. We'll add a focus or uh, add an evade. We'll evade one. One shield comes off Nora Wexley down to six hull and one shield on Mike Strathern side. Nora attacking Nora. Ability, focus token. Four hits there. Mike, Mike already used C3PO, so just a die here. The green is a whiff. Four damage here. So final shield comes off Nora. Three face down damage cards are dealt. One, two, three face down damage cards there. Nora Wexley is down to three hull. The brilliantly played stop from Tyson Sparks there means that Mike Strathern's Nora Wexley doesn't have a shot here. Players will clear those dice again, get them out of the middle of your screen, and we'll update you on the things we're seeing. Left-hand side, middle of your screen, Mike Strathern's Nora Wexley has three hull and zero shields left. Upper left-hand side of your screen, Tyson Sparks, Nora Wexley, made a green maneuver last turn, picked up her third shield, six hull, three shields. Lower left-hand corner of your screen, that's Ray that belongs to Tyson Sparks. That Ray only has two hull left. It did survive last turn on the stop. Of course, those ARC 170s have rear firing turrets, so that stop kept him out of the rear firing turret. And we're going to see how he stays out of there again. It may not matter. Tyson's going to be throwing a lot of extra red dice over what Mike can do right now. Little bank from Nora Wexley here. Green maneuver. R2-D2 doesn't have any shields left to put on, but it'll clear the stress. We'll go... Target lock, push the limit, focus token. That is a hard two to the left. Barely keeps it on the table. Mike trying to make a decision here on what his action will be. Moves the target lock to Nora Wexley. Three bank here. Oh, three sloop. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Going to try that weapons failure as the action. He does flip that back over. Get some red dice back there. A range three attack here. Ray at Nora. A hit and a crit from Ray. Guessing zero on Nora Wexley using C-3PO here. Oh, or maybe trying to decide if he's going to save it. Going to guess zero. Rolls both evades and avoids that hit and a crit. Oh, bumping Nora there. <laughs> Nora bumped off the board. Game's over. They correct the problem, of course. Add the card on, or add the dice on the ability. Put four hits in the box. One die, no C3PO. 
Tyson extends the hand and Mike says, hold on, hold on. Can spend the target lock to add an eyeball, but there's no focus token. Mike gets to attack Tyson, but it doesn't matter. Nora Wexley's dead. There's no way the attack actually takes out Nora. Players discussing whether or not they should even roll the dice on Mike's attack. Yeah. <laughs> Players having a long conversation here. That is a question I can't answer that we will talk to the players about. I don't know how Ray did an action after the sloop. There's lots of things on this table that I haven't had the opportunity to read. I'll be totally honest. Tyson Sparks defeats Mike Strathern here in round one. My name's John Stevens. This is Total Escape Games X-Wing Store Championships. We will discover the answer to your question. And get back to you guys, but we will be back for round two in approximately 25 minutes.